And last but not least, we have Mr. Paul Moulton from Isle of Man Television. Good afternoon, Paul. Fast am I. Good afternoon, Chief Minister. Good to be back with you, although apologies, but the sound is still not good, so I hope I haven't already heard this one. Um, you, you said it was breaking news. You're, you're making things up very quickly, decisions. I'm surprised, surely, you, you must by now have every sort of scenario ready because you've had time to think about it. Being, you know, getting ready for any scenario should be what you should be planning, yes? Well, Paul, you, 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 I, I think I gave a State of the Nation, well, I don't think I know I gave a State of the Nation address on Tuesday to Timor members where I pointed out one day you're standing on firm ground, the next day that ground underneath you has um, dissolved. And effectively, you don't know what situation you are going... You know, I can't say there's, there, there's um, an exact textbook case and this is what we're going to do. We found out about a, a case in the community... Uh, from, from uh, that had happened in Guernsey, but we didn't know how widespread it was, what the numbers were. Now, they tested, and we, and we obviously have a clear indicator that if it goes over a certain level, and if you look at our own border strategy, if you've got over five cases in the community, then that enables us to review our policy on freedom of movement into nursing homes, for example, wearing masks maybe on, on public transport, asking people to social distance when they're out and about. So it was only when we realised that there were additional numbers coming in and we therefore decided to wait to get the latest results from the remaining 60 plus cases um, to see whether there was any further cases or whether that was it and it was just a very small number of people who were impacted because we we have always expected at some stage it may happen either on the Isle of Man or, or in Guernsey and it really depended on the numbers involved and sadly there are now seven cases in the community which have all been traced back to the to the first case so six cases plus the 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 first case and and therefore because of that number we felt we need and we've only just found that information out um in, in in a meeting not long before this this press conference and i felt it important to um you if there's anything you would like to expand on that yes i think um each of these eventualities has to be responded to in its own specific context it's actually very difficult to draw up more than broad principles um, which obviously we have in the context of the response plan um, but the actual fine details need to be bespoke to the specific context okay and your next question paul well, it refers to you. I'm watching you coughing and spluttering and I'm thinking to myself, if you say you've got man flu, should you not be checked, first of all? Should you not be isolating yourself? And shouldn't you be catching it and binning it rather than just coughing into your hands? Should you not be leading by example? Well, I, th I thank you for your kind words, Paul. Um, obviously, I have had a blood test which shows that I've got antibodies um, for COVID, so it's highly unlikely I have COVID-19. A couple of my colleagues have sadly had um, a bad cold with a sore throat and I've succumbed to, to that so I'm cautiously optimistic and I will be going home but sadly because of the seriousness of the situation I have had to continue working. Okay but on a serious note we, we've all got to isn't the, isn't the message though if you do feel unwell I mean you've just taken a council of ministers meeting you could have infected people I mean, maybe just a cold maybe flu it could be anything isn't it a responsibility seriously that everyone who doesn't feel well should either test or, or isolate themselves at the moment? Well, if you feel that you have COVID symptoms, then you should ring the 111 helpline and, and, and have a test. COVID symptoms, I've had it in the past and I still have antibodies. Um, and I chaired the Council of Ministers with a number of ministers on online, Paul, like we are doing now. But thank you for your concern. It's lovely to have you back. Right. Thank you. That's all for today, folks. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good weekend. And we'll speak to you hopefully on Thursday. Thank you. Bye bye.